Hey guys, this is Chubbs and today I'm going to show you how to create bridges and ramps all in one tutorial. So go to new map. I'm just going to go back to Z Doom, Doom and Hexen format. I'm going to go to map 01 and I have my Doom2.wad as the resource. Click OK. And let's go ahead and I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. Let's create a square room. In the middle of this room, there's going to be a pit that goes all the way across, length lengthwise. And I'm just going to even up this pit just a little bit. I'm going to make it fairly large, and I'm going to put a player start here in the bottom. So uh, now that we've done this, hop in 3D mode real quick and lower the pit down to about uh, right there is okay, and give the sides of the pit textures. Alright, so now that we have the pit, the first thing I'm going to do is create a ramp that leads up from the pit if you fall down in it. So here's how easy it is to create ramps, and this is really cool. You can just, this is going to be the ramp. You just make it a regular square. And I'm going to make it uh, go about right here. And go ahead and flip the line this so it's facing outwards, like where the player is going to walk in from. And go back into 3D mode and raise the ramp up and this is going to determine how how much of a slope the ramp has. I'm going to make it go all the way up because I want the player to be able to walk all the way up to the top. And the front side of the ramp, keep in mind it's, it's going to be down in the floor so you don't even have to give this a texture because you're never going to see this part. This part right here is going to be like the side of the ramp so you'll want to give it a texture. I'm just going to go ahead and give it one. And the other side's in the wall, but if you, if it wasn't in the wall, like if it was in, if it, if the ramp was out here in the middle, you would have to give the other side over here a texture as well. But this is all we need right now. Go back into 2D mode, and all you have to do is just in line mode, right click the front side of the ramp that you, that you're going to walk up. Click this button to bring up the actions, and then all you have to do is scroll down, click plane and then plane align slope and uh, align floor is what we're concerned with. Align ceiling is if you want the ceiling to, to have a ramp and that is a great feature but we're not going to use it. Uh, under align floor click the arrow and then click back and then click OK. So what this says is when it says back that basically refer, refers to anything in the back of the line so the peg is facing out this way and so the back of it will be this way. So it's telling it this sector is going to be a ramp that goes up this way, basically. That's what it's saying. So the ramp is complete. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. The bridge is not much more complex. All you have to do is just go into thing mode, right click, and once you go into this, you'll see a section called bridges. So go here, ex expand it and you see different ones. I'm going to choose bridge radius 32. These are just different sizes. I choose 32 because it's the largest. Click OK and you'll see it. I have my thing so that they show up like a square. Yours might look like a circle. So I'm going to put bridges that go all the way across just like that. So yours should look similar to this. They should just go all the way across the gap. And then go into thing mode. I'm sorry, go into 3D mode and if you have your things turned on you might have to press the T key to toggle them on and off but if they're turned on at the bottom here you'll see the bridge pieces and left click on each one so that they're red and use the mouse wheel so that you can bring them up and you usually want to bring them up so they look like they're about right there you want just a small bit of of the uh, of the wall just above it but not a whole lot if you bring it up like this, it's going to be a little bit too high, so just bring it down to about right there where there's just a little bit of an edge. And when you're walking, it'll still be smooth. You won't even know it's there. And then uh, that's pretty much all you have to do for it. And right now it's an invisible bridge. You can still walk across this, but nothing's going to be there, so it's going to, it's going to be weird. So let's go back into 2D mode, and this is where you add the bridge's look. You can customize this, but this is how I do it. Go into line mode and go ahead and create lines like this that go all the way across the bridge pieces. See how they span uh, exactly across each piece? So do it just like that. 
and then create a line that goes all the way across the bridge like this. So and go ahead and just flip these around. You don't have to do this, but I just like to be neat that way. So this is the final result pretty much. And then you click each piece, each line that you just now created. Make sure you click all of these individual lines that make up the bridge. So when you have them selected, they should look like this. And then right click and check upper and lower unpegged. And this is just so they start at the very bottom and you'll see why. I'll tell you why here in a second. And then click the side defs and give it both a front and a back middle texture. This way you see it on both sides. And I'm going to select, I'm going to go to steps and I'm going to select step top. This is what I use and this is what a lot of people use. So just like I said, back middle texture and front middle texture. So see that they're aligned there. And then click OK. And then go into 3D mode. And since we gave them uh, upper and lower unpegged, they started at the bottom here. So it's just easier to select them all. So go ahead and uh, click to make sure that they're all selected like I'm doing right now. And you're going to have to do this for the front and the back. So we're going to have to go around to the other side here in just a second. But pay attention to what I'm doing. So you think this has got it all, but if you go to the other side, you'll see that we still have some more to select. Like I said there, you have to do the front and the back. And this can be a little tedious, but it's required for it to look right. So we've pretty much got it covered now. And all you have to do, just like you do when you align textures, just hold down the up arrow key to move it up. And we're just going to want to make it up near there so it looks like it's near the top. And keep in mind, these are just textures. These textures don't affect you in any way they're just there for looks so if you're off a little bit it's not going to make much of a difference but that looks about perfect there so press C just to unselect it and there's our bridge and the bridge pieces in the middle that are invisible are what holds you and this is what it looks like when you play